Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kiltan Rats. Welcome back to Legends of Eisenwald Road to Iron Forest, the DLC. We have been invaded by Ottmar von Grauland, our naughty neighbor. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we fought off a knight in Ottmar's service and we got a bit of loot. So let me quickly check what we have. We have a regeneration potion and some stuff. And we also have some severely injured troops. And we are now tasked with returning to our ancestral castle to warn our family of the impending attack, or rather the attack that it has already occurred. And I would assume that this will keep us on this map here for a while as opposed to sending us off into the Iron Forest. I'm quite interested whether we'll actually get to see the Iron Forest or whether it will turn out to be some sort of parable for the struggle of life and, uh, you know, our deceased uncle had some sort of notion that Otma was going to attack and now he's sort of setting us on the path to... I don't know, regain the foothold here. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna lose all this, at least. I do happen to know that uh, there is some uh, recovery mission at some point with the castle, so I'm not 100% sure when that's gonna happen, but I'm guessing fairly soon. Nearing the castle, you blow the horn and raise the alarm. Not a minute passes before you see your father striding towards you. Faustus, what is going on? Otmar Grauland is attacking us. His people have already taken the northern gate. They will be here in a few hours. Damn, Faustus, listen to me. I will defend the castle and you have to head south immediately to seek help. Waldenspur should come to our help. Tell him to send as many soldiers as he can spare and for God's sake, hurry. Alright, we are going to hurry as soon as we find out where we're actually going. Okay, we're going as south as south can be. Okay, so I'm guessing this is maybe... How that goes like we uh, we go get help and in the meantime everything here gets uh, gets you know torn to tiny little pieces hopefully some of our family will survive but knowing this is uh, Legends of Eisenwald I I fear for their fates let's just put it that way um, where are the invade oh they are coming up there what do we have hmm let's maybe not uh, run into that. It, it looks somewhat manageable actually. These guys do look like we could take the first batch, but I think the second one is probably gonna... Mm. Mm, yeah, they're fairly upgraded and these guys are gonna make short work of our healer. I think we would probably be relatively boned, I believe is the correct technical term. So let's just try and see what reinforcements we can dig up and that or not. A group of armed men stand on the road leading to the forest. You look back and another group has come up behind you. Mm -hmm. What devil raised this? How did Otmar's people get here so fast? Oh, and that is fairly unceremoniously an invitation to mutual bashing of heads in. Let's see how that goes. What do we have? Oh, thank you very much for that. That is lovely to start with we are wow we are getting completely focused down here that's not good all right let's do the hokey pokey here with transmutatio ferrum and um i kind of wanna well i <sighs> i do want to shut down the archers so i think i'm gonna go here with him that means they can't really do much this guy hmm he can pick his target so he'll probably go for him if I go here he'll have to come to me right I think that's yeah I think that's how we're gonna play it uh, Restoration, I can't really help doing that, even though I prefer not to, because this guy is otherwise 
taking a hell of a beating. Uh, but but we did buy ourselves the requisite amount of time, I think. Wow, that does barely any damage. He does so far stay on his feet, though. Oh, okay. Well, I spoke too soon. Never mind. Mm -hmm. You. Be ironed up. Let's do this. And... Can we actually invigorate? Yes, we can invigorate this guy. That's rather good. Uh, that is no damage at all. We should be able to uh, provide we don't get completely... Yeah, we are gonna get completely obliterated by the archers. Damn it! Okay. Well, balls. But I think... It should still work out in a favor-ish. Maybe. He can... Where can he go? Can he go to this guy? No, he can't. He'll have to take the archers. Okay, that's fine for now. Uh, you should probably go away. Okay, well... Eh. It's gonna be a close one. Hmm. Why do you not have any energy to heal, woman? I am perturbed. Maybe because she couldn't meditate in peace or something? We really need to heal this guy at the expense of our healer's um, good health because he basically needs to be our last man standing. Because then... Ah, okay. Never mind. Right. Now we're gonna probably die. Unless the counterattack works out enough. We, it does. Okay, thank you very much. Counterattack saved our asses there. Very nice. But we are completely and utterly broken. But it was a nice bit of experience at least. I think we... Oh, we... We're close to leveling up actually. That is not too terrible. When the last enemy falls, archers on both sides shoot at your army. Several of your people fall as others run away. You have nothing left to do but run for the nearest grove. Oh, I'm running, apparently. You run as fast as you can without looking back. Arrows fly past you. Whee! One hits your side, passing through the cloth and leather. Tremendous pain explodes along your ribs. You fall with a scream, the grove just ahead. You try to rise, but you fall once more. Booted feet are close behind. You begin to crawl to the trees. Screams break out behind you. Finally, pain pulsating in your sight. Your vision darkens and you slip into blackness. Uh-oh. Hmm. I guess... That's a good question. Where am I? Oh, we're with the uh, crazy lady. Oh, you are awake. Do not fear. The danger is past. Your bleeding has stopped, but the arrowhead remains within your side. You will need to carry it and the pain that may flare. Endure. Come by later. I can take it out then, perhaps. Hmm. I mean, you know, we're still alive. Ambush. Uh, where did they go? Who knows? They wandered for a bit, looking for you, then left. Their fight is away from here now. Why didn't they kill me? They didn't see you. When you were hit by the arrow, I put a spell on you. One against enemy eyes. If you say this incantation, then the person becomes invisible for all who seek his death. You try to get up. Uta supports you, leaning on her crook. Your head is spinning and each step causes pain in your ribs. But you can still walk. And in about half an hour, you are moving normally. So thank you, Uta. I will reward you as generously as you want when I have such an opportunity. When you were unconscious, I went to Goatbank and found out the news. All your castles have fallen. Your enemy has everything. Well, that's not a huge surprise. I told you the basket is full with eyes like plums, but who would listen to me? I mean, yeah, that was fairly obviously what you were talking about there. What the hell? A ripe basket of eyes like plums. Um, going from that to all your castles will fall is a bit of a stretch, wouldn't you agree? But who would listen to me? Indeed. Here, take your things. I found them in the forest. Uta takes her basket and disappears in the forest. This is a mess. I have to find out a way to deal with all of this. I need to find out what happened to my brothers. Ooh, lots of red. Lots of red everywhere. Hmm. 
<laughs> there is still one green spot with the estate, okay. Your lands have been taken by the enemy. You have to free them, but you can't do it alone. First of all, find out what happened to your brothers. Right. It's a tax collector nearby, apparently. Let's definitely try our best to avoid that guy. Oh, he comes with an entourage. Speaking of which, yes, they're all gone and we can't fight. That's fantastic. We do have some fixer-upper potions, though. So let's make liberal use of those. Otherwise, we won't be able to do anything. Hmm. Okay. Right. We do have 200, so the game actually topped us up with a bit of money to begin with, I think. What's this? That's a patrol. Yeah, no chance at all. What's the situation here? Goat Bank was what Uta mentioned. There is no map marker that would give us a hint, but what can we do? We can try to make our way to a tavern, listen for rumors. We can ask in Fox Ravine. Maybe? Maybe the tax collectors will go away. One thing we might be trying to do is recruit some more soldiers and once we've achieved that pick some fights with these maybe rebel peasants or something of that order of magnitude or maybe a weak patrol or whatever just so we can get the experience to level our main character up a little right ask about brothers let's see your grace, please, we know nothing at all. We're just trying to survive. Well, yeah, aren't we all? What do we have? We have archers and peasants. Now, peasants are eminently useless, so I'm just going to go with the archer for the moment. Right, there's also the church down there somewhere that might help us. But there's a bit of a patrol inconveniencing us along the way, and the tax collector is coming. Whoops. And they are coming towards us as well. What are these guys though? These guys are... Rebelling peasants. Yeah, this is something... There's a few too many of them, but... We do have five potential castle support, so maybe we should go... Try and recruit a few more. Moving along in the daytime is going to be a little hairier though, because usually that's when the... Enemy troops are going to be up and about. So this is actually going to be a bit of a problem to maneuver. Hmm, the tax collector is running around there. This patrol is walking up there. There's another one roaming on the other side of the river. This is almost an exercise in stealth here, let's see. I'm just gonna let some time pass and see where they are headed. I think these guys are now coming for us, so let's try and not to be here. Vineyard Keeper. Huh. Let's see. What is in here? We can ask about our brothers again. Your Grace, don't be angry with us, but we don't know another. We're barely surviving ourselves. We don't know another? Hmm, okay. Uh, right. Peasants and archers. Hmm. Considering how useless these archers are at the low level, I'd rather be recruiting as many watchmen as I can. What are these guys? Poachers, okay. What could we actually reasonably make our way towards here? What? Oh, we momentarily took possession of the vineyard keeper. There's the poachers. Not gonna be able to deal with them. They seem to be coming for us. No, they're not. But there is a mounted patrol somewhere in there, I think. And there is also one coming this way. That's not good. I think we're getting a little boxed in here, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, these guys are moving away. 
Okay, these guys are moving towards there. So maybe we can actually head into Goat Bank and hear whether any rumors are to be had or any recruits to be found. Let's ask about our brothers again. They also don't know another. I still don't know what to make of that sentence, but I guess they don't know anything. That's probably what it means. Uh, they're barely surviving themselves. Yes, indeed they are. Hmm. We can collect income for, for some reason and recruit more peasants. Uh, I'm good, I think. We do have the estate down there and the south gate. That's not really promising. So either we're... Well, the tavern. Mm. We can make it to that tavern, but I'd rather check here because there's some additional places of interest there. What are marauders, actually? Why are they marauders on the map? Weren't they poachers? Oh, they are marauders. They... They went as poachers and came back as marauders. Mm. Please maraud somewhere else. I am... Wow, there is a lot of enemies up there. Maybe... Maybe we should see what happens when darkness falls. Maybe they'll be settling into a village or into the castle. I do need to go away from here though because otherwise we're gonna attract undue attention. Ooh, that's not good. I think we just attracted some attention. Mmm, crap. Ugh. Okay, wow. Um, damn it. These guys are coming after us. Ah, okay. I am boned, I think. Can we lose them somewhere? Can we lose them somewhere? What are you, actually? You are still too strong. Hmm. Hmm, damn it. Please lose interest in me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was close. Right, so they're settling down for the night, I think. And maybe we can... Oh, please stop running after me. That would be ever so lovely. Uh, run, 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 run. No, don't, no, don't, don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, they are going into the tavern. Well, of course they are. Well, that means we can go to clearing at least. We can ask about our brothers again. We know nothing at all. We're just trying to survive. Okay, we have a healer. At least that's something. Okay. What are you? Wow. <laughs> didn't pay the mercenary, didn't heal those guys, okay. Got into a bit of a fight, apparently. Right, can we make it past that village and into the summer fair, maybe? Any mer- yeah, those are just mercenaries, I think. Yeah, it's like, let's check the church instead. Maybe there's something interesting in there for us. We can ask about our brothers here as well. Oh, and that is a bit more text from the deacon. I'm glad that you came, Faustus. I only know the fate of your eldest brother, Ortholf. I heard he was captured when Castle Plutte was assaulted. He now resides within the dungeon. I know nothing of the others, unfortunately. Hmm, thank you for that, Holy Father, and I would ask that you pray for me, for freeing Orthulf won't be an easy task. I hear ya. I shall indeed, but there may be a better way than open assault. I know of a penitent bandit by the name of Tristram, though better known by his nickname Gudgeon. He told me that he once escaped from your castle's dungeon via some hidden underpass. If that's true, perhaps he may be able to help you free your brother. As far as I know, he's currently making a living fishing and lives in a hut on the lake bank. I will mark it on your map. God be with you, Faustus, on your noble quest. 
He'll mark it on our map. Another settlement needs our help. Yes, indeed. And the settlement is New Tristram, apparently. <laughs> it's like some sort of Diablo uh, Fallout crossover going on here. Ooh, hmm. Uwe, my monk friend, would you like to join me? I think he's a little pricey, but probably worth it. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Right, did we go to pass through yard? I don't think we did, so let's do that. And hear what they have to say. They say the same thing. They're trying to survive. And they have a beggar. Joachim! Hey! Yo, yo, how are you doing? What's your name, anyway? Tilo the Jumper, okay. And Viola. Well, that's actually a pretty nice name. Kind of beats Helga and Bertha. So, right, we have Goatbang. Tristram's hut is down there for freeing Ortholf. I do still think we should probably recruit to get a full squad and actually also get them some experience if we can. Just not 100% sure. Oh, Deep Well, huh? What do you have, Deep Well? Do you have any soldiers for me? And there is Brad Pitt over there, disguised as Dead Pitt for tax reasons. Uh, ask the peasants about your brothers. Uh, yeah, they don't know another again. And they have an archer. Hmm. Damn it, I don't really want peasants. They, they, they're not really doing anything much, uh, even with experience. So they stay useless for, for all eternity. Whoa. Holy crap. What the hell? <laughs> well, taking back the castles is a bit of a tall order, maybe, unless some miracle happens and we, uh, I don't know, get a supply drop filled with uh, several dozens of highly experienced units somehow. Oh dear. Right, can we make it? Through no 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 don't don't go through go no 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 what are okay no thank you um please don't hurt me thank you thank you much much obliged right he's coming back but oh but he's going that way okay well we can. Try and weasel our way southwards here. I'm really curious, like, where should we look for more recruits? Because we uh, we haven't been to Fishers and we haven't been to Piedmont. All the other places only had peasants. Oh, we have Lutholf's estate up there as well. Hmm. But that might take some conquering, actually. I'm not sure. We'll see, I guess. Let's check in with Tristram. What do you need from a simple fisherman, noble sir? Tristram, I have heard you know of an underpass that leads into Castle Plutte. Is this true? Tristram looks at you, suddenly concerned. Uh, perhaps, but it was a very long time ago. I... Have no fear, I only wish to know, for my brother languishes in the dungeon and I wish to free him. Good sir, I would be happy to bring you there for such a noble cause. It is a long passageway. It starts from the mine that is next to Piedmont. Let me stow my fishing gear and we will go. By we, you mean we? Uh, okay, he's, he's companioning along, but he looks like he's gonna be useless on the field of battle, so... <laughs> We'll see, I guess. Can we recruit anyone here, maybe? No, we can collect income. And we can garrison troops, but that's probably not really what we need to do right now. It might get some experience on them, but fairly slowly, and for the moment, I kind of need them all. Huh. I would like to manage to get into a tavern, though, if I can, so... I'm gonna try to sneak my way down to where that other tavern is and hopefully not be ambushed by whatever is in here. What are you? Wasn't there an army just now? Oh, they popped back in there. 
These guys are bandits, okay, but very, very strong bandits, it seems. Hmm. And I don't think I can get through here. Ah, okay, they popped out. What are they? Oh, they're the Maurers again. Okay, these guys are not that strong, but we don't have enough of a front row going here. So let's try to get into the tavern as quickly as we can. And then hopefully, maybe we can recruit something in there? Oh, we can ask about our brothers. Of course we can. Ah, yes, I only heard a little and only about Sir Lutholf. A thug passed here, boasting that the band he fought for, that of Luca Long Mustache, boasted that they had captured Sir Lutholf. They claimed he was retreating and they took him as he fled. I am sure that they will demand a ransom for him, but I'm not sure who they'll ask money from. They may be too scared to go to Otmar's men, and it's hard to find any plotter relatives around here these days. Oh, so one of our brothers has been captured by bandits. Abel, do you know where this Luca Long Mustache is lurking? Well, he settled up north when he left Goatbank. There is a ruined fort in the woods, I believe. It's just a rumor, but you always follow it up. Hmm. So we have a clue where one of our other brothers is as well. Huh, taking on those bandits, though, that sounds like a bit of a tall order. And that's a mercenary, damn it! Ah, Poldi, I really need you to come with me, but I don't have the money to pay you. Damn it, damn it, damn it, that would be really good. Hmm. Right, let's see if there's any new... Oh, wow, holy crap, there's a lot of new rumors. And there's also an incident within the Castle Lahnstein rumor. A week ago I passed through Erzglanz and arrived in the Lahnstein's territory. So can you imagine what happened there? Castle Lahnstein, high in the mountains, has started swallowing people. No one comes out and those that try to enter are never seen again. That sounds very familiar. It's almost as if this is the plot of the main campaign. Now, the local chivalry is in turmoil over who will be the new lord in Lahnstein. Yes, these are dark times now. Devilry happens everywhere. Huh. So Luca Long Mustache's band. There we can hear something about him and apparently about ourselves at some point. Uh, do you remember Luca Long Mustache? Imagine the commotion around here when he started with his old antics again. He's now the head of the local Marauders. Is it the Marauders that we just saw? Because those didn't seem so tough. Where did he come from then? He used to be an elder in Goatbank, but the man was power hungry and imagined himself to be the Kaiser. He started to teach the men how to live, then started to beat them. Those who resisted didn't have it easy. Luca and many Luca had many farm hands on his side and they formed his first army. Luca was such a tyrant that he took a share of almost all the goods in the village. Hmm. They soon complained to their liege lord, who then came riding in whipped Luca in the village square. Was that us? We, we seem to have a sort of a predilection for whipping people, at least. Uh, <laughs> going by how we suggested punishment earlier in the, in the campaign. With everyone watching, they made him return his goods, but his small band of cutthroats vanished. Turns out they took their new skills and turned them to banditry. They didn't rob merchants as they have guards. They usually just robbed lone travelers and took what they could get. Sheep, chickens and even a bucket of turnips. There were jokes that from one shepherd, Luca got cow's dung to manure his garden. So then people forgot about him, but now he's resurfaced with his band and some will pay the price for their foolishness. Resurfaced. Uh, apparently a tricky word to pronounce at this point of the day for me. Right, so that's... Hmm. I'm not sure where to look for this guy. It's like he originally in, originated in goat bank and then sort of went north but marauders were in the forest there in the old ruins which is fairly close to this place so maybe that's where we have to look maybe there's a map marker so let's see younger von platte that is us though do you remember the youngest son of baron burkhardt i think his name was faustus so they killed all his men and he himself was killed with an arrow like a quail nonsense i only took an arrow to the knee 
It can't really be. I, sorry, uh, error to the knee. Sorry, this is so 2011. I, I, I really apologize. It can't really be someone who looked just like him stopped by recently. He's sitting over there. Hello, give a little wave. No, it's not him. My son told me everything just as it happened. He was checking on his fouling nets and watched as Faustus's detachment was ambushed. They tried to get him alive, but eventually wished to settle for Faustus's head. All the archers shot all at once. The arrows caught up with the poor bastards and brought them down. They wandered the forest looking for survivors. My son figured out that watching any longer would prove too dangerous, so he ran for it, leaving half his fouling nets. Aww. Okay. Hmm. Big grief. Everyone, say your farewells to your whole kits and caboodles. I am running away from these lands without looking back. Wait, is it not too early to run away? Maybe the knights will fight and then quiet down and everything will be as before. Ha, you can hope. Otmar defeated our local knights. Now he will be a lord over us and that means destruction, brigandry and executions. Sounds like a fun weekend. They spoke to Jan from Vineyard and demanded all the wine he had. He refused and they put him into the well. Then they came to the Fox Ravine. All the barns had not a single bag of grain between them. Otmar's men burnt down two farms to the ground. Happy birthday. And in Goatbank they stripped two men and after placing them in a barrel tossed them in the river. And for what? For a joke? That's how they entertain themselves. Hmm. Strange sense of humor these guys have. Yes, it seems Otmar's recruits are just like him. You can say if you want, but I won't wait for them to stuff me and my wife into a barrel. We're going to pack our things and head south. They say the tax is high there, but I don't care. Better to be poor and alive than poor and dead. Sounds reasonable enough. News from Windfeld. I think that's the last one, because Otmar 100 eyed we already heard. Recently I came through Windfeld. The folks there say that war is coming. Mm, isn't it always? They talk about it quietly in hushed voices. The city guard doesn't like these conversations, but what can you do? Murder runs rampant. They say that Landgraf Enderlin, who has lands to the west, has a huge army and wants to attack us. Wait, is this the same Enderlin whom the old duke gave his daughter to marry? Yes, him, but the duke won't be there for long. He barely gets out of bed. And all his heirs? Well, some are dead and some have simply disappeared. So it seems that this duke's throne is in store for him. But the Counts there won't swear allegiance to him. The Counts usually fend for themselves, and now that the Duke is weak, they are even more alone. Death will take us if we aren't careful, especially since the city guards don't like such conversation. Right, okay, Otmar 100 eyed I think we definitely... Yeah, that was just a, a bit of a flavor about our lovely neighbor who has now attacked us. Hmm. Okay, let's consult the journal and check with freeing Lutholf. Where does that put the map? Oh, okay, that is way different than I expected. I thought it would be these guys, but of course not. Ha, huh, right. Okay, so what do we do? I, I really think we need a fifth recruit and I really think it has to be a, a front row kind of fighter. Like a watchman at least, a peasant is just not going to cut it. And then we also need to make sure that we scrounge up the next uh, 10 points of experience for Faustus here. So we can maybe upgrade ourselves a little. Right, What what's actually the best first upgrade we can get? Commander isn't bad, but... I think we really need to branch out into this tree, so the immediate level up will not benefit us fantastically. One thing we really also need to do is get experience on these guys, like, damn, that's 220, 65, yeah, she's gonna be useful, I mean, she's already useful, but Invigorate is such a, a good skill, especially if we find some items for her that boost her initiative so she can go early. Hmm. I'm a bit stumped for the moment. I think we've not that many options left to go look for recruits. Maybe we can swing by Copperhead and Ludolf's or Ludolf's estate, not Ludolf. That's a wholly different kind of thing. Hmm. Right, bandits down there, Fishers is another stopping point, Piedmont. Piedmont would also mean we get close to free Ortholf 
territory, but I'm not sure that is something we can survive right now. I am going to have to think about this for a bit, so I'm going to take a break here. I thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time, and bye for now.